Yeah, I want to bring up another point that I guess nobody brings up on the internet for another thing. I know like the DHS, Department of Homeland Security, bought 1.6 billion rounds recently or acquisited 1.6 billion, would it be? You know, in other words, with billions of thousand million. So, because people kind of lose the concept when there's a big number, <laughs> they say, you know, not realizing the difference between one and 1,000 is the difference between a million and a billion. So they bought 1.6 billion rounds and of ammunition, and there were hollow points. And they say they use uh, 15 million rounds for training purposes a year, which is, I don't know if they even use that much, but that's over 100 years worth of ammunition, right? Because 100 years worth would be 1.5 billion. They got 1.6 billion, right? So, you know, 15 million times 100 is 1.5 billion. They have, 1. They have over 100 years worth. But I want to point out something else. Typically, you know, not all the time, but typically the military, well, always the military always trains with ball ammunition. They don't use hollow points unless they're, you know, on some secret mission. But the average military doesn't use any kind of uh, hollow points. They don't actually use them on the range. And uh, typically, that's pretty much the case with all agencies in the government. Hollow point ammunition really won't be used on a range that much. And the thing is, if you're going to be using this for range shooting, why get the more expensive type? The ball ammunition's less money than the hollow points, typically. So why would you get that? You know, a lot of times, you know, at least from my experience, I know this can be like refuted and all this kind of crap, but from my experience, typically law enforcement and military will use ball ammunition on the range because it's slightly safer because it won't fragment, you know, because even though there's a backstop, the, the rounds won't fragment, you know, they'll stay together. And it, it's uh, typically also military and law, well, it's always military uses ball ammunition. So why is Department of Homeland Security having to get um, hollow point ammunition? That's basically, you know, pure kill stuff. So, you know, actually, when you start thinking about it, it's against the Geneva Convention for the military to have that type of ammunition, but it's not against any kind of convention for the Department of Homeland Security to have that type of, of ammunition. Because, you know, the idea they, they say with the military is you want to actually stop the force or overcome the force. It's not exactly, you know, even theoretically, you know, this is kind of like real theory theory. But theoretically, it's actually you want to win the, over and defeat the enemy, but do it as in a humane way as possible. Which is kind of ludicrous when you start thinking about this Geneva Convention. But why the hell would you give something to a... Uh, a policing authority, internal policing authority, why would you give somebody hollow points when the military isn't even allowed to have them? And secondly, it's a more ex generally it's a more expensive type of ammunition. So I don't know what these rounds cost in the bulk, but say they're twenty five cents. So, you know, at one point six billion rounds it's that's four hundred million dollars, almost a half a billion dollars into ammunition that can last them up to like well over 100 years at the rate they're using it and you know ammunition doesn't store that long <laughs> so it's basically going to waste and you're talking we also have sequester now and they're cutting the budgets so what the hell's the deal here but you know it's not actually for range target shooting because they would be using ball ammunition they'd be using that type of stuff too and they wouldn't have bought so much of it they're stockpiling for an all-out war against the American people, it looks like. Damn, man. Somebody is. And I guess the only way you can get around this is, like, you got to, you know, I don't know what to... Actually, the only way they're actually good, if something crazy like this happens, I, I doubt... Well, I don't know what the hell he can possibly... I guess is he could pay somebody enough or brainwash somebody enough, but I think, generally speaking, the Department of Homeland Security, if it actually turns into, like, a rogue... Stasi East German type organization that's going against the American people. It's probably going to be something more staffed by people that aren't born in the United States. In other words, their members are going to probably have to come out of country. 
uh, like, could be East Germany, <laughs> you know, maybe it would be East Germany, I don't know. Oh, it could even be uh, Mexico or something, too, NATO forces or something, or, you know, somebody who wasn't actually born in the United States. Um, I don't know, I mean, it could be some, I don't know, I mean, it's getting really conspiratorial, but it could be, it could be. I think that's, if this actually turns into something like where it's, uh, you know, a Stasi-type East German police state or something, I would imagine they they probably couldn't fill enough people uh, from the American ranks to staff that you know to you know because like there's enough because even though some Americans might bite initially and take the job, they might change their mind and they might turn out to be internal traitors and they're not looking for that type of stuff. They probably want mostly foreigners to uh, uh, man the Department of Homeland Security. So I don't know if it's going to go like that crazy, but it does look like that. It does look like that. I mean, I have to say, I mean, without trying to get conspiratorial and making up all these theories and stuff like that, yeah, I mean, what the hell? First off, Department of Homeland Security is a national police force, and that's ridiculous. I mean, right there, that's almost like, you know, East German Nazi stuff or something, Nazi stuff, or and that's what it really is. It's, you know, that's why we don't have that in this country. We have local police and stuff like that. But, um... You know, the thing that, with the 1.6 billion rounds, that's a ridiculous amount of ammunition. It'll last them over 100 years, according to what they say. But then, hollow points are, generally speaking, not the stuff you use on the range for target shooting. And considering spending that kind of money, I mean, you probably could have got, like, 20% less for buying regular ball ammunition for target shooting. So... And I know they come up with the excuse. We ought to use the stuff that we need, we're going to use in, real, in the field live. But then the other thing comes up, like if the military is not allowed to use hollow points for combat against an enemy, why the hell is an internal police force, a national, it, that is bad right there, a national internal police force, why are they given something that the military can't even use against uh, foreign enemies that are trying to distract the United States. Why is the internal police force given stuff that, you know, they can use against Americans? But then again, I guess Americans can own it too. But you know what? Americans are Americans. And I don't know anybody who joins the Department of Homeland Security probably is not going to be an American. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they're going to be like, uh, you hey, you're a citizen, you're in. Because I don't think, I think most Americans, uh, if they went into that department and they started doing rotten stuff to American people, um, they might find within the department itself, like a virus, a bunch of traitors, you know, to the department itself, and not traitors to the American people, but traitors to the department. So I think they're asking to use foreigners. But, you know, the point of me making this, though, is just think about it. Hollow points? Hollow points aren't generally used for target shooting. So if they're, they say they're using it, they got a lot of ammunition for target shooting. They got the wrong, they got more expensive ammunition and they got the wrong type. And they're not that stupid. So quite obviously it looks like, I don't know. I guess some of that theory, I don't, you know, I don't like getting too far off on tangents with uh, conspiracy theories, but I'd have to say that it does look legit. There's probably is going to be some type of financial collapse don't know when. Don't hold your breath. Don't think, it, don't think it's going to be next week or next month. I don't know if it's going to be next year, the year after, the year after. But it looks like they're preparing for that, and there's going to be a lot of civil unrest. So that's what it seems like. Now, why would you need a national police force to take care of civil unrest? I don't like that. That's bad news, because actually it should be the local police... And actually, people just waste, you know, start growing food now. And they're not going to be civil unrest. Because basically, the biggest thing you worry about when the shit hits the fan or something is food. <laughs> so if you have, you know, a way to grow food, you have some food storage, everybody can be chill and it'll work out. You know, don't need to, you know, you don't need the Stasi police trying to, you know, screw everybody up. But yeah, I have to say, hollow points. It generally ain't for target shooting. That's more expensive ammunition. That's for, um, you know, defense or offense or whatever. But generally speaking, that ain't for target shooting. And you won't see the military using that for target shooting. 
and so I don't know. Looks like they're looks like they're getting ready for a major internal war in the United States, and that's a hell of an expenditure. Uh, considering that, I don't know what it would cost exactly, 25 cents a round, so $400 million on that. And of that, you know, if they got like a 20-year supply, it would be about, I don't know, $70 million. So like $330 million in excess of what they needed. And 20-year supply is plenty, right? <laughs> 20 years worth of ammunition, you know, firing at 15 million rounds a year. So these guys are full of it. So something does smell rotten in, over there that, you know, and uh, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's actually something, something does smell rotten. So, you know, like I said, the only religion you really ought to worry about is uh, the anti-Gestapo uh, Nazi type religion. You don't want that in this country. The United States stands for freedom, and we're the beacon of freedom in the world. So, as long as we got that Constitution, we can point to. We got the First Amendment, we got the Second Amendment, and, we can, you know, we got the Tenth Amendment. Um... And the Ninth Amendment and all the other ones, like that's something we got to really make sure we always stands intact. And uh, just beware that they're going to try every shrewd way they can to attack that Constitution. One is through the treaty making powers of the United Nations, and another is through calling a for a constitutional convention. Boy, they could rip that up. They could rip up the whole Constitution in two seconds flat. So then, you know, that our founding fathers were very lucky. <laughs> Those guys who thought of this stuff because it gives you a lot of um, legalese to tell people, you know, what the real law of the land is. And, uh, you know, it's the Constitution of the United States, which includes the Bill of Rights more than anything. So, those rounds they got for hollow point, that's not for target shooting. <laughs> hollow points can be for target shooting, but generally speaking, uh, for target shooting, you want to use the cheaper stuff to round your round ball ammunition and they got enough they bought like if they got a 20 year supply they only needed to pay like 20 percent of the money so if it was 400 million dollars i guess it would have been 80 million dollars for 20 year supply or a little under 80 million dollars so they basically blew another 320 plus million dollars on crap from year 20 out to year 100 something which all that ammunition would be stale by then so and I guess the only way it's not going to be stale is if they use it on the American people. Wow. Bad thought, ain't it? So, like, hollow points, generally speaking, aren't for um, target shooting. They're to be used on assailants and offenders and things like that. So, you know, that's bad news. So, it's reality, though. It's not, it's, it's not trauma, not trying to build nothing up. It really is reality. So, if there's one religion you ought to think about is... Uh, combating Nazism in America and actually that's what's going on. We're, we actually have Nazism going on in America and this Department of Homeland Security is almost like the Nazis or Stasi in uh, East Germany. It's bad news.